Yeah, so we're now we're up to the middle part of the, the beach here in Playa de Cura and uh, this is the disabled bit just there. It won't be long now before they put out the uh, railings and that for the disabled people to come out and go in and see. That normally comes out very soon. But they've erected the shelter already. But yeah, this, this section is mainly for the little children because it's nicely combed off. You can keep an eye on them. And you've got the toilets here as well. But yeah, this is mainly the children's area. Plenty of sand. It's easy to watch them and keep an eye. The old Paku looks like a new restaurant just opened up. That wasn't here before. And you've got plenty of shops. You've got your ice cream shops just along here. That's our favourite. Stop off and have a double scoop of your favourite ice cream bubble. Yeah, they're all lined up. They all look be looking today, that's for sure. Whatever you want. Glasses, handbags, hats, boxer shorts, sweaters. Man bags. There goes the balloon man. 
Oh, she's back again. Line that rice off. Another nice restaurant just here. Another nice little cove here, popular for the kids. Nicely enclosed. So yeah, we're in the middle of the old promenade now. We're getting right up, up to the real busy part. It's just up there by the, the arbor. And you've got your old Alwop, like I say, famous Alwop shop. You've got a little cafeteria here. It's just pizzas and salads and kebabs. Pretty reasonable for the breakfast as well there. Very reasonable price even though it's on the promenade I mean if you want to come up here and have a full breakfast you're only looking at six euros for a full breakfast there you go and that's an English breakfast We've got more and more looky looky up here. They seem to be breeding. We've got a nice little uh, Irish pub here. Nice little pub here. Been here a while. There's more coming. And we've got some sort of little band starting up just there. But yeah, this seems very popular, right? This end of the promenade seems to be always super busy. And wherever you go, there always seems to be another. And we think we found one. I think I think he's shouting out Hitler, but there you go. Super super busy. And this is a very wide footpath. You've even got railings there, taking you out to see. And you've got your seats. And you can't go anywhere without Burger King, and we've got a Burger King here as well in Sorry Viega. Right along the promenade. Absolutely buzzing. Well, we've got another little entertainer here.
So yeah, we've got a few craft stalls out. Sorry, the sign was still looking for this missing person from four years ago. Uh, in on your sheet t-shirts you got your handbags and your glasses yeah mix of all sorts down here we've got a bait store here as well there you go bait store on your air flag We're looking for a nice Arctic fan. Here we go. Leather stall. Nice painting. Baby store here. Yeah, 
Every video we do, I always tell you where the local Chinese is. Well, if you're in Torribiega and you want a nice Chinese, we've got one just there, right next to the arbor, right at the end of the sheds, Chinatown, just across there. So yeah, not a bad Chinese, that one. Quickly show you the Chinese Chinatown. There we go. You've got inside as well as outside seating. But yeah, not a bad little uh, Chinese here. Menu of the day there. Less than 14 euros. Yeah, so just opposite the fan in here, this is where the trains are that take you to the salt lake. Very interesting. It's nine euros for an adult and eight euros for a child and you pick up the train here and they come three or four times during the day so yeah it's a good little trip i've got a video of that so if you want to have a look at the video and then you can decide if you want to take the trip there but yeah it's a great uh great little trip very interesting very pretty salt lakes with a little bit of education they'll tell you all about the salt where it's exported all around the world and they do another train here also that takes you along the beaches and that's uh, six euros for an adult and four for a child and that'll take you along the beach up towards La Mata but the Salt Lake definitely uh, recommend and just over there you've got quite a nice few little restaurants and speaking of the train it's just on its way back from the Salt Lake. See you go, so that's the train. Someone's already been to the lakes. You got a few nice uh, restaurants just across there. And just there by the Sabadell Bank, it's a little tapas bar as well, very reasonable price. Yeah, and just behind, uh, well to the side, of the sheds this is the other side of the uh, construction they're doing for this big commercial center there you can see there took up all the car park that was here but yeah it's going to be a massive commercial place when it's done 16 and a half million pound for this project it'll certainly bring more tourists here into Torribiega and uh, yeah just to the right that's the Torribiega Arbor that's where the old free king comes in on his boat free king's day 5th of January he comes in here got a video of that we're gonna have a little look at that parade there but yeah yeah so just under the old shelter here there's erected like a little museum here to tell you all about there's some Santa. so yeah got plenty of things to read uh, just have a quick look inside as you see uh, loads of uh, stalls have been erected stands for you to read all about the history
my appetite Don't leave me high and dry 